Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Mm. I want to bring you to a fifth-round pick. Now, it's, it's a round later. I'm not, I'm not saying it's the same thing. I'm making a point to you that if Connor, if you truly believe that the, that, that the national and local media really reported the whole Connor Cook story, and it's just about character, then I want you to listen to this and see if you feel the same way. Because I'm a firm believer there's more to the Connor Cook thing. Okay? The Chiefs used a fifth-round pick on a young man. A guy named Tyreek Hill. Great, right? Runs a 4-3 in the 40. That's, That's lightning fast. Really fast. <clears throat> well, he played a year at Oklahoma State. That's a good program, right? Yep. So how the hell did he end up at West Alabama? Huh. Oh. Because he pled guilty to assaulting his pregnant girlfriend by punching her in the stomach and choking her. Oh, he was drafted on Saturday, and he's still on probation for the crime. So let's recap. One guy might be a super douche. The other guy punched a pregnant woman in the stomach and is still on probation Saturday. See, here's the problem I have. If you truly believe it was just about the character, you're missing it. And I give Terry credit because Terry had a different view of Connor Cook from the beginning than I had. I got blinded by watching a guy go out and win 35 out of 40 football games. What you see is the NFL's a bunch of frauds. See, some of these people who come out and go, oh, we had a horrible interaction with the guy. Oh, boy, I tell you, I didn't like his interview. Well, really, what interaction did you have with Tyreek Hill? How does that conversation go? Hey, Tyreek, uh, did you punch a pregnant woman in the stomach? Well, yes, I did. Okay, have a nice day. <laughs> See, how does that interaction go? Tyreek, are you still on probation as we draft you? Well, yes, I am. Okay, have a great day. Until 2018. Right. I'm making the point to you that the Connor Cook thing and, and a kid who could have gone in the first round, let's compromise and say should have gone in the late second. Meet you in the middle. You can't sell me that we got the whole story from our media. But then on the other side, you have a team. And I'm leaving out Carew. I'm leaving out Spence. I'm leaving out Tunsil. I'm leaving out Glasgow, mind you. Where are the hit pieces on Glasgow? Everything's about this amazing redemption because the guy's alcohol problem was so bad, the family moved in the 81-year-old grandmother. And mind you, I like the Glasgow pick. I'm rooting for the young man. I want him to do well. I think he's a good football player. But the point is, look at the way that story was reported both by ESPN and the local media, and then look at the Connor Cook story, whose biggest crime is what? His teammates didn't come to his birthday party with Kevin Costner? Oh, he's a douche. Some former teammate or teammates, an ex-GM, an agent. My point is the NFL will overlook anything. They thought they could pull the, the, a fast one with Tyreek Hill. You want to knock a kid down two and a half rounds based on he wasn't a team captain, but then he's drafted in the vicinity of a guy who beat up his pregnant girlfriend and is currently on probation. Okay. Mike, let me let me answer that question. How did that conversation go? Well, I haven't done anything in two years. <laughs> and, and what the Chiefs were, were presenting out there is, hey, he went to a different school. Yep. There was no problem. He hasn't beaten up a woman in almost two years. And we believe him. And, and what they were asking the community, because they're getting some protests about this, by and the way. they should. It's and, disgraceful. Right. And they're asking the community to be, you know, lenient to understand that this, this guy – has already gone through it, and, and he's changed his life. But you know what? Maybe he has. Let me ask this Maybe question. he hasn't. If you commit that type of crime, do you really deserve a second chance? At, not in life, as it pertains to playing the privilege of playing in the National Football League. I will tell you my answer is no.